now let's go on to the representation representation of vector how do we represent them okay so representation of vector can be uh, of uh, can be done in two types one is uh, we can do denote it uh, the graphically or we can denote it mathematically okay so first is graphical let's understand the graphical representation so in case of graphical representation we will use the arrow to denote the vector so um, we will use a arrow to denote the vector like this okay so when we take a arrows there are two side one is this side okay that is known as the tail of arrow and this part is known as the head of arrow head of arrow right now uh, when we uh, when we denote a vector it should contain the magnitude and direction so when we denote it by using arrow so arrow's direction will give us the direction of vector and arrow's direction is from tail to head okay so that's why vector's direction one information we can take out from this one is that uh, the vector's direction is from tail to head vector direction is from tail to head okay so like for example if i am applying a if i am applying a force in this direction or some uh, vector in this direction so it means vector is in the left direction okay because this is the tail this is the head so that's why it is in left direction if i denote a vector like this it means vector is in upper direction if i denote the vector like this it means vector is in right direction okay now next information it gives is about the magnitude okay but we cannot calculate exactly the magnitude from this arrow okay but the length of this arrow will be proportional to the magnitude of the vector so i can say that length of arrow will be proportional to magnitude of vector so if greater the magnitude the length will be more so like for example if i am uh, drawing a vector or a force of 5 newton i am denoting it using arrow so this is the 5 newton force which is acting in right direction 5 newton so now now if i take another another force which is acting in the same direction right direction but now the magnitude is 10 newton now the magnitude is 10 newton so in that case this length will become just double for the arrow and direction will remain same so this is the 10 newton force okay so now if, uh, if two arrows are given so i can compare these arrows and find out the relative magnitude but i cannot say that if let's say this is 5 cm so then this should be the 5 newton i cannot exactly say that right but i can uh, say that uh, this that the magnitude will be proportional to the or length will be proportional to the magnitude so from there we can get the idea of magnitude okay so uh, using the uh, arrow we can denote the direction and the magnitude now let's go into the mathematical representation how do we mathematically denote it so mathematical representation let's say that vector or the quantity is denoted by a okay there is a quantity which is denoted by a so then if that quantity is vector so then we will denote it like this a and on top of that we will denote a arrow so this means vector a if i just want to give the direction of a so then i will denote it like this a representation of that quantity and cap on that top of that cap so that means 
only direction direction of a vector now next next if i just want to denote the magnitude so then i will denote it like this a vector and uh, beside it there is mod mod sign so that means magnitude of a vector now see a vector is we know that vector is its magnitude and its direction so can i say that a vector is a vector is magnitude of a vector and its direction so this will be uh, this is how we will denote a vector if i denote it completely so magnitude and its direction so if i want to calculate if i want to calculate only the direction so then what i will do i will divide this complete a vector with the magnitude of a okay so this a cap will be a vector divided by magnitude of a vector okay so this can be another relation okay let's take the example to understand this one so this is i am considering x y z okay x y z x axis y axis z axis so generally the uh, a vector along the x axis okay the direction along the x axis is denoted by i cap okay now let's say i am applying a 5 newton force 5 newton force along x axis 5 newton force along x axis so now i can say that uh, the force vector is 5 newton okay and the direction is i cap so 5 newton i cap that is the force vector so let's say that that there is another force which is uh, some 2 newton into the x axis and uh, some part of this vector uh, force is in y axis as well 3 newton right now in the y axis we denote the direction by j cap so this vector f is 3 2 newton in i cap right and there is 3 newton in j cap so this is how i can denote it okay so now also again we will understand this uh, the representation of a vector in component form right now i i have just explained to explain this uh, mathematical representation so in this lecture we have covered uh, the what are the vectors and then uh, we discuss about the graphical representation of vectors and mathematical mathematical representation of vector so let's end over here thank you